Livestream Studio software brings multi-million dollar production quality to your fingertips. After this three minute video, you'll be ready to go live. We'll review the easy to use interface, the basics of switching between camera sources, and how to go live in four simple steps. If you're looking for a way to elevate your events with live video, this demo is for you. Let's break the user interface down into its core components. Here we'll find the various source feeds, including preview, program, and multi-view. Preview allows you to check out what your video sources look like before bringing them into the stream. Program depicts what's currently live that viewers can see. And multi-view is a bird's eye view of all of your sources configured in Livestream Studio, including camera sources, graphic sources, and media sources. Next, let's take a look at the audio mixer. The audio mixer reflects all of the video sources that are in Livestream Studio. Each video source has a corresponding audio source that we can both monitor and adjust to ensure that the audio in your stream is broadcast quality. Next, let's take a look at the graphics module. Within the graphics module, users can preview, push, and pull any graphics they have stored within the graphics tracks. The transition T-bar is also located in the graphics module, giving users a little bit more control over the transitions between their video sources. Now let's take a look at graphics and media bins. Graphics and media help take your production to the next level. In the graphics tabs, you can edit graphics on the fly. In the media tabs, you can store any pre-recorded footage or highlights from the live stream that you want to incorporate into your show. When it comes to producing a show with Livestream Studio, switching between sources is crucial to engaging your audience. It makes live video dynamic and helps grab your viewers' attention. To switch between sources, you can perform transitions using the T-bar in the graphics module or the space bar on your keyboard. If you prefer a hard cut, you can use your computer's mouse and keyboard. After you've set up your sources for switching, all it takes is four easy steps to go live. In the streaming module, first, log in to your live stream account. Next, select your event and give it a title. Then, choose the quality at which you would like to stream. And finally, go live. And on the viewer side of the stream, you'll see your footage exactly how your viewers are seeing it. If you want to learn more about our studio software and how it fits into Livestream's larger end-to-end -end solution, get in touch with us today.